guys. It is Wednesday. Yay. I am Tracy Gorick. I am an energy healer and a spiritual mentor. I work with undiagnosed illness. We look at alternatives to find answers and heal. And so today I wanted to come on and talk about why do we need healers? Because I keep asking for guidance on this and asking other people their thoughts because here's the thing. You can do, you can heal yourself. Um, but why apparently healers were brought into this, into to earth to help people is because we get so inundated and we have so many lessons we go through that it's hard for people to pull themselves out or even think and even try to do the stuff that they need to do to heal. So healers were put here. Like I believe that's totally my calling is to be a healer to help people heal so you can help the ones that can't do it themselves. So um, just so everything I tell you is stuff you can do on your own to try to get the healing going for yourself. Be positive. Just do all the things. Uh, think positive. Don't get angry. Don't get upset. Don't hold grudges. Don't hold all that stuff inside of you. And that's going to help you guys heal. But that is the reason, though, that there's healers here to help you out, to help you clear that stuff out so then you can take over and do the healing. And a lot of times it takes... It takes a lot to to um, clear that out and get your mind right because it's part of it's all in your mind and in, in what you're uh, not letting go. <clears throat> What's like? How do you feel when you wake up first thing in the morning? I'm following a lot of people and and taking um, and working with a lot of people and learning from a lot of people that have had chronic pain and chronic issues, but they wake up and they're in the best mood ever. And they've healed themselves to where they can function. It's not totally gone, but they live the happiest life because they've chosen to. And I think that's what it comes down to. It's like choosing. Decide that you're going to have this life and do the best you can with it. And don't be angry. Don't be upset. And another thing that I see a lot of is people getting so, so angry with doctors because, well, they can't figure it out. They're stupid. They're this. Well, I'm not going to say either way what that is, but here's the thing. They're human. They're here. They've learned things, and there's things that are being uh, people being sick that aren't being shown. And what if that is part of the lesson of being here on Earth right now? Is that we need to rely on ourselves and get help in other ways, and not real like have put doctors up on this pedestal like they're this be all know all because it's not necessarily always the case. There's things that are being shown to them they can't figure out, and a lot of times also with what I see, it's in the energy. So it's not manifesting on the body yet, even though you're feeling it on the body. So even if you think about it with fibromyalgia, they can't really find that necessarily. And it took them a long time before they could diagnose it. And it takes them a long time to find it on people and diagnose it. But it's because you're feeling it. It's, it's a very physical thing, but it's not something manifesting in your body. And that's why there's so many things that are being like they're saying, well, it's all in your head, it's all this, it's that. When in, some, in one way or another, that is possibly tr the truth. But that does not mean that it's not affecting you physically and bringing you down and you're feeling sick because of it. But it literally is that they can't see anything on your body that's causing you those problems. But there is stuff there. And that's what, what energy healers do is they go find that stuff, help remove it, help you work on your mindset, and then you start to feel better and your body starts to heal. So any questions on that, guys, please let me know. I'm happy to answer them. Uh, if you need help on finding what is good in your life, let me know. Post it in the, book, in the group. I will, I'll help you find what's good. I'll, I'll help you find it because I know when you're deep down, like a lot of times you're just in it, you can't see. And I'll give you ideas on how to do that. So go do something for yourself, some self-care. Go meditate. Listen to quiet music, something to help you relax. Um, do a soak bath, like an Epsom salt bath. That's a detoxing bath that helps you feel so much better. Then go do something that you love. Watch a movie you love. Sing, dance, something that would lift your spirits. 
Then, uh, this is another one I'm gonna add. I hope I remember to do it every time. Don't watch negative TV. Don't watch the news. Don't watch shows that get you your heart rate going that are stressful. Those things do cause you harm. And I, the more you can raise your vibrations, the more you can feel the difference when you don't watch it to when you do. Um, and it's definitely, so you wanna watch uplifting shows. And some of them even are like America's Got Talent or The Voice or um, The Masked Singer. Those I've noticed are really happy and they have fun. And for the most part, there's not anything that's gonna drag you down. So be careful in what you watch on TV or what you listen to. And then um, go do something, say something nice to somebody else. Lift you and them up. It will make their day and it will help you. And it's amazing. Watch, watch how people react when you say something nice and when you see something in them that you like. Um, just an example, there's this lady at a drive-thru that I go through and I love her and she just makes me laugh every time. And I always tell her, oh, there's my favorite um, drive-thru girl. And it makes her day. She's so happy after I've done that. And then I'm happy. So then write 10 things you're grateful for, guys. And when you start to do these things, it's gonna help you, I promise. Because then you're not just looking at, oh, I feel miserable, oh, I'm sick all the time, oh, the doctors can't find this. You want to start picking the things in your life that are happy and good and bring them to the forefront in your face. So you then can change your life and you can heal. I am here to help you. I can help you clear out what's going on to help speed it up. Um, it will take most times more than one time. Even my, my most difficult client that I had that really was undiagnosed, they couldn't find anything. It took at least three healings before we did it, but that was him doing a lot of work. So a lot of it depends on how much you are doing to help change your mindset, to help clear it out and keep the negativity out of you. So that's it for today, guys. I am so glad you guys are here with me. I appreciate every single one of you. Any questions, please let me know. I am happy to answer them for you. You guys have a great day. If this can help anybody, please show it to them. I love you all. Bye.